Hi everybody, welcome to day four. This is your optional workout where we're gonna focus on core, hip abduction, and a cardio finisher. So this is gonna be different than the other days because we're gonna be doing circuits rather than supersets. So everything that's labeled A is gonna be circuit one, B, circuit two, and then C, circuit three. So I want you to perform A1 through A6 back to back without breaks. Then take a 60 second break, drink some water, do it again. Same with B and same with C, all right? Um, so to start out, we're gonna do Russian twists, followed by a forearm plank, leg raises, forearm plank, and then air bikes, forearm plank. I don't want you to move, or I don't want you to like bust through these exercises. Instead, I want you to move at about a medium temp or tempo. Make sure that you're using proper form and remember that quality is greater than quantity, okay? So don't sacrifice your form for a number. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and the last circuit is going to be the cardio circuit. So what I want you to do for this one is I don't want you to worry about reps. Instead, I want you to set a timer that goes off every 30 seconds, and I want you to go all out for 30 seconds, take a rest for 30, drink some water, then do the next exercise for 30 seconds, take a rest. So there's eight exercises, that means that we're gonna do this for eight minutes, but you're only working for four. But because of the intervals, we're making our heart rate go up, down, up, down, which will create a greater calorie burn. You get some rest so that you can keep going exercise through exercise. So the very first one is gonna be mountain climb climbers. So for mountain climbers, get on all knee, on knees, engage your core, and get into the plank position. And then you're gonna come up and bring your knees and you're gonna climb. So one thing I see commonly people do is have their butt to high and then they're going like this. No, bring it down to the plank position and then bring your knees in. And then take a 30 second break. Your next exercise is gonna be a renegade row. So you're gonna get into plank position and you can use a dumbbell for this if you want, but get into plank position engage your core and then you're gonna row and down row and down so if you had a dumbbell you're gonna row in this position and back down do that for 30 seconds take another 30 second break now let's do a lower body exercise so we're gonna do skater squats so you're gonna begin on one leg and you're gonna bend forward okay bend forward and then you're gonna do a slight hop from side to side side to side, make sure that your core is engaged and that when you hop, your body's moving with the working leg. 30 seconds, take another 30 second break. Next, we're gonna move over to plank shoulder taps. Love this one personally. So we're gonna get into a plank. Make sure that your glutes are engaged, core is tight, and then you're going to take your hand and tap on the opposite um, shoulder. So it's gonna look like this. Whew. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Next, we're gonna bring it back down to the lower body and we're gonna do jump squats. <sighs> so I want you to repeatedly for 30 seconds, make sure that you land softly. You're gonna come up, up, up. If you don't want to jump or you have neighbors, if you're in an apartment, come down and then come up to the toes and back down. Up to the toes and back down. Create that explosive movement. Just don't do the jump, all right? 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Your next exercise is gonna be plank jacks. So engage your core, get into plank position, and then jump. So it's just like a jumping jack, but you're bringing your legs outside of your mat and the back in. Whew, 30 seconds on, again. Get us some water and then come back for your next exercise. Whew. Your next exercise is gonna be a plank to squat. So you're gonna start out whew, in a plank position, tighten the booty, glutes engage, and then you're going to come up, squat, make sure that you know my butt is in here, everything's tight, come back down, hop it back, and up, down, and back. Whew, set your timer. 30 seconds, and then last move. So last but not least, we're gonna do plank walkouts. So you're gonna start 
having your core tight, engage your glutes. You're going to, just like a deadlift, bend over with a neutral back. Come down and then walk back. And just like a deadlift, come up. Down and then back. Whew. Your first exercise is going to be a Russian twist. So you're gonna come down on the floor and you are going to lean back. Sit more this way. Now, two options. The easiest way to do this exercise is to have your heels on the ground, and then you're going to twist from side to side, making sure that your core is engaged, everything is straight, your chest is up, and then you're gonna, uh, <laughs> what's it called, you're gonna twist. So when you go from the left to the right and back, that's a full rep, so either count to 12, or count to 24, okay? So if I do 24, it's one, two, three, and make sure that you're using full rotation so that you're always tapping the ground. That's a good way to make sure. And everything's up to make this more, oh, and make sure that you're always keeping your legs together. I'm not as super focused on it because I've been talking to you, but with good core, I'm doing it this way. To make it a little bit more difficult, keep my core engaged, back up, lean back, I could also add a dumbbell to this and make it more difficult. And then ultimately to take it to the next level, I'm gonna raise up my ankles, keep everything straight, and then a twist. Ah! Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna move over to a 30 second forearm. Okay? So feet apart, five kinetic tuck points, engage the core, and then just count for 30. Then we're gonna move over to leg raises. So come down on the ground. Now here's something that I commonly see people doing. They will put their hands below their glutes and then they'll lift. This is actually making the exercise easier. So I don't want you to do that. I want you to lead with your heels, keep your hands on the ground and then lift. Challenge yourself, okay? Use your pelvic core, brace your core and then lift. All right, so do that for 12 and then repeat a 30 second forearm plank. After that, you're gonna immediately go into bicycles. So 12 per side, and don't bust through these really quickly. Instead, move at a medium tempo and make sure that you're using full range of motion. So most people, when they do a bicycle, they only like half move their legs, when in reality, good form looks like this. Full extension knee to elbow. So make sure that you use full range of motion. Do 12 per side. One more 30 second plank, brace your core, then take a rest, drink some water, and then repeat that circuit again. And then that's it. That's your last exercise. Grab some water, make sure that you stretch it out, cool down. I hope that you enjoyed your optional workout. Bye.